Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch your record on Wednesday. Disclaimer, lots of noises in the background. <laughs> I'm gonna talk loud um, because my dishwasher is running and so is my washer washer because I'm getting stuff done today. <laughs> the last few, um, well, since like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a little bit of Monday, I didn't feel too well. I had a whole bunch of headaches, which is normal in pregnancy. Uh, they were pretty bad. Some of them were like migraines and so I got behind on making videos and on doing house stuff <laughs> So I'm, I'm feeling better yesterday and today. So I'm getting ca caught up on everything Anyways, here's what I'm working on this Wednesday. I wanted to spit all that out before I forgot <laughs> So today I'm working on a baby project because I was trying to finish up all my um, Current whips so that I can start working on baby stuff and right now the only big whip I have left, or the only whip actually, other than this one, <laughs> is my Christmas blanket, which I'm slowly working on. I haven't worked on it in oh, like a week. <laughs> but like I said, headaches. So I did finally get around to starting a baby project, and I'm pretty excited about this one, because it's fun to make stuff for babies, and it's a lot of fun to make stuff for babies that's going to be yours. <laughs> but, um, so I found a free pattern for a cute little sweater that I wanted to make. Uh, it is called the Mila sweater. I'm pretty sure. Let me check it again. Yeah, Mila sweater, and it's free pattern by Orchid Loop. I'll show over here's the uh, what it's supposed to look like. But me being me, I'm using bright colors. So I pulled out a ball from my stash of Mandela Ombre, and the color is Serene. So it's like oranges and pinks. It's getting floppy. <laughs> and so this is what I got so far of it. It's already super cute. I'm using natural lighting today, so the colors are a little washed out. But it's so cute already. <laughs> I gotta get some buttons. It's got two buttons on it. I don't think I have any buttons that would go good with this. So I have to look around in my stash. I might, but I'll probably have to buy buttons. Buy cute little, you know, buttons. Maybe little flowers would be cute. Now she's gonna be born <laughs> at the end of January. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be end of January. Or super beginning of February. So it's gonna be cold. And this little sweater has um, little tiny sleeves, so I might alter them and make them a little bit longer. Um, but you know, again, it's, it's not like she's gonna be out in the weather. <laughs> Cause January, February is our coldest months here in Middle Tennessee. And um, so she's definitely not gonna be outside. So I guess it doesn't matter if it's short sleeve because it'll be for, it's mostly for me to see her in a cute sweater in the house. <laughs> but um, anyways, I think it's so cute. I'm making the, um, I'm following the instructions for the zero to three, but I tend to not be good at making, I don't do gauges because, you know, life's too short, <laughs> but I'm making the zero to three month, um, size, but if it comes out bigger than that, it's still fine because it stays cool here in Tennessee until like May. So, um, she'll be able to wear it, even if it's just long enough for me to take a few pictures of and, you know, see how cute she is, but it's so cute. It starts with a chain up here. And then you work and you make little tiny armholes. <laughs> and uh, then after you go down, you make a little band section right here. And then you start, it's, they say it's a shell stitch, but it's a V-stitch, actually. <laughs> it says it's, it's a shell portion, but it's, it's made like a V-stitch. So I'm working on that part now. I still got a few more repeats of that to do. It looks like that's the way the sweater ends, is you make the, um, you just keep making the little V-stitch sections. And, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have yarn left over, so I'm going to make maybe a little hat or something, or a little headband, like a flower headband. Something cute <laughs> to go with it. And I do gotta make the little sleeves also. And um, it's just gonna be cute. I can't wait to finish it. I wanna make a bunch of baby things, but I don't wanna just make baby things because um, there's only so many things she's gonna need. I know she's gonna need hats for sure because it's, she's gonna be born when it's cold. But, um, and blankets. I made her that one green blanket, but it's at the fair right now. <laughs> and, um, no, I haven't made her anymore. I'm sure I'll get some gifted to me, like the, not crochet blankets, but you know, like the regular blankets. <laughs> Cause like you always get those uh, from family members, the little receiving blankets and things like that. So she'll have plenty of blankets. I also want to get one of those car seat cover things that like you wrap around the car seat so that people will leave her alone. <laughs> cause I don't want to take her anywhere because of COVID, but plus because it's going to also be cold. So it's going to be regular, like cold and flu season. Plus she's a newborn at the time. So I want to make sure people stay away from her when we're uh, like at the doctor office and stuff. So I want one of those things that goes around the car seat to where the baby's just like hidden in there. <laughs> Anyways, that's a sidetrack. I'm sidetracking, but isn't it cute? I love these colors too. So bright and springy and she's going to be born in the middle of winter, but um, 
It's gonna be cute. I just can't wait to put it on her. It's gonna be so cute. I gotta find cute little buttons. I might take this with me to Hobby Lobby when I get it done and like compare the buttons to it. I'm trying to find some cute. I made a baby sweater as a gift a few years ago for someone my sister knows. And I got the cutest little heart buttons that were glitter, like um, rhinestone-y. But I think this would be cute with little flowers because of the colors. And then I can make a flower headband. It would be really cute. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But that's why I'm working on this Wednesday. I'm also doing laundry and doing dishes. And I'm going through. We, we got a whole bunch of stuff loaded into the car <laughs> to go to the um, donation center. Uh, whether it gets there today or not, I don't know. I may live in the car for a while. <laughs> But I got some stuff right here that I'm going to be trying to sell on Marketplace. I guess I'm nesting. I don't know if you do that this early. But I'm basically just realizing our apartment's tiny and we have a lot of crap. And I need to get rid of a lot of it. So, I've been doing that. And I'm about to get out my Halloween decorations for outside. As you can tell, I've been decorated since the beginning of August inside. <laughs> but now that it's September 1st, today's the first day of September 2021. It's first video of September, which is always fun. And it's the first day of the Burr months, September, October, November, and December, which is my favorite time of the year. Um, it's holiday season here at the house. <laughs> We're in full swing. We're already getting ready for Halloween. I'm thinking about what to do, what Jesse wants to do. He wants to dress up as Jack Skellington this year, but he changes his mind every like week. So I'm trying to find a costume for him because if you don't buy them at a certain time, they're gone. I got a big giant pumpkin over there. I'm gonna show you. Ignore my house if it's messy. See my giant jack-o'-lantern? Sorry. Got that um, at Lowe's. It's actually pretty cheap because it's a big blow mold thing. Usually blow molds are expensive. I got one right here that's a older one. It's from the 90s uh, that I bought at an antique store. And it was, it was 30 something dollars itself. That one over there was $34, which I thought was really good. And it's got a flashy light in it. And I can finally hit it outside. We're going to figure out how to anchor it though because it doesn't have any anchoring things. And I don't want it to blow off. But I got my blow up wiener dog that looks like a skeleton dog that I'm gonna put out. I think I'm about putting my witch on the back porch this year. Our neighborhood kids really love the Halloween decorations we put out. Um, they're not Christians, they're a different religion. So they, they don't really care for my Christmas decorations, but they, uh, they, they go all out for my Halloween ones. They usually take pictures of them and stuff, it's really cute. But um, yeah, so. Anyways, I'm sidetracking. This isn't a vlog. This is supposed to be Watch Work on Wednesday. <laughs> Anyways, this is what I'm working on. Again, it's the Mila sweater by Orchid Loop, and it is free. They have a few free uh, crochet patterns, and I think they also have some knitting patterns. But I didn't look at those because I don't knit. But I just saw this on Ravelry. I just looked at baby sweater, and I thought it was so cute. <laughs> and uh, I've been wanting to use this mandala yarn forever. I bought this ball, and uh, it's around my birthday, I think. I bought a blue and purple one, and then one that's just purples. And I've been looking at them forever and I want to use them. So, probably get to use these. <laughs> this one, at least. And, um, so anyways, now that I'm done blabbing, <laughs> let me know down below what you guys are working on. And feel free to share any pattern links or people links or anything like that. And, uh, let me know if you're working on anything, um, for Halloween. Because Halloween's fun. I don't need any more Halloween decorations. I'm good. I need to start working on Christmas stuff. <laughs> I told David, I was like, we have two totes of Halloween decorations and only one tote of Christmas decorations. So we need to up our game on Christmas. <laughs> but, um, and then that's including our ornaments. So we definitely need more Christmas decorations. But uh, that's all me. I think I love Halloween more than Christmas. I used to think it was all the way around, but now um, I think I love Halloween more. But I love them both a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna work on this today. I'm gonna sit down after I get this video edited because I've been cleaning this stuff, so I need to like chill. <laughs> I wanna work on this. I think I'm almost done with this little body. Um, I'll have to count my rows. Let's see here. I gotta do six rows. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I need to do two more rows of the shell pattern. And then sleeves. So, that's it. I printed off the whole thing because it, it has multiple sizes. Let's see here. It has zero to three, three to six, six to 12, one to two, and three to four. <laughs> um, so I could save it and make her bigger ones as she gets bigger. That's gonna be so fun making little stuff like that. You can't really do stuff like that with boys. I wanna make some of those cute little pixie baby hats that like poke up in the back because they're so cute. And little bonnets. I wanna make all that stuff. But I don't know if I'll get around to making all of it. Because I don't wanna just work on baby stuff. I feel like I'll get burnt out. And I wanna work on fair stuff. Jesse's tablet just made a noise. I wanna work on fair stuff for next year. 
because they had it this year so i'm hoping they'll have it next year and i can make more things speaking of that uh, if you're not on the facebook group i did win some ribbons i entered 12 things and i got 10 ribbons six of them were first place and four of them were second place and the two things i didn't win on was my baby blanket but it was kind of a plain one it's pretty but it's like a plain one compared to other people's and my tote bag because the other tote bags that people entered were really nice like these are probably people who have been sewing way longer than i have and they were really nice quilted bags you know mine was just like a regular it was quilted also but it wasn't like fancy quilted <laughs> but uh, mine was like beginner bag and theirs was like expert bag but um i didn't mind at all <laughs> not winning compared to those people's anyways uh we gotta go get our first stuff on i think sunday i need to check the website if you don't come and get your stuff they get rid of it <laughs> and i'll get a little check i'm not sure let's see i got six first place ribbons so that would be uh 24 and how many four like around 35 dollars maybe that's enough to buy some yarn with though <laughs> i can't remember i think it's four dollars for blue ribbons and three dollars for red ribbons or maybe three, two. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'll get a little bit of money that I can take um, and buy yarn with or something or whatever. But the last time I entered the fair in 2019, I got $101. I was so excited about that because I entered, I entered like 30 things that year. Um, I could probably go back and check. I also got a best in show that year for a baby Afghan. Um, and they get, you get $10 for best in show. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. This is what you're working on Wednesday slash me blabbing. But a lot of people said they enjoy that because they can crochet along while I'm just talking away. And I, I understand that because I'm the same way. I like watching long videos so I can just sit there and crochet and listen to people that I can relate to, talk about stuff that I like. <laughs> so um, that was like 12 minutes of me talking. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and edit this. And then I'm going to sit down and try to finish up this little sweater. At least the length. I don't know if I'll get around to the sleeves today. I might. I might turn on some Stranger Things or something. And... Um, finish it up. Devin went to play guitar. He's off work today and Jesse's at school. So yeah, I have nothing else to do. House is clean. I need to sew. I got a bunch of bags in there cut and ready to go. I just haven't sat down to sew because I haven't been feeling well with the headaches, but uh, they have went away. I guess it was some kind of hormone surge growth spurt thing or something. I, I looked it up and uh, talked to a nurse and everything and they said it was pretty normal. Uh, to have headaches throughout pregnancy so i was like yay <laughs> apparently this pregnancy i'm gonna have everything that you can possibly have go wrong go wrong except hopefully i won't get pups i got pups with jesse and i think you only get that when you're pregnant with little boys uh because testosterone leaking from the baby into the mama but that was horrible because i had bumps it's supposed to be on your legs only and mine was head to toe all over me itchy it was kind of like chicken pox almost just horrible itchy bumps <laughs> and it lasted up until after i gave birth it finally started going away after i gave birth damn but anyways, blabbing again. I haven't talked to you guys in a few days, so I missed you. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video, hopefully soon. I had a whole list of videos for the weekend, but because I'm not feeling well, I never got around to making them. But um, I want to get back in it. And in October, I am going to do Vlogtober. It may not be daily, though. And of course, in December, I'm going to do Vlogmas, because it's my favorite uh, thing to record. I love doing all of our little things that we do as a family for Halloween and Christmas and sharing it with people. It's just fun. It's just fun. Fun. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get off for real this time. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. <laughs>